Hello everyone, myself Diksha Shandali from Biotechnica and today we shall be discussing about the benefits of doing a Masters of Technology in Biotechnology from any of the IIT in India. So if you are gate qualified and if you want to do a Masters in Technology, MTech in Biotechnology from any IIT, this video will be helpful to you because you will learn the perks and the benefits of doing any MTech degree from Biotechnology in any IIT and you will be learning the benefits, you will be learning the perks. So let's Let's get started with the video and I hope you will like this video at the end. So, like why do we need to do an MTech degree? Students when they do their BTech degree or when they finish up their masters and they ask that do I need to directly go for a PhD or if I'm not going for a PhD, I want to go for industry based job, do I need to have an MTech degree? So yes, you need to have an MTech degree if you are thinking of going for any pharma based job, any quality control job, you need to have that degree because it will give you a technical experience rather than your bachelor's degree that you have done. So your master's degree degree is important because it is advancing your technical experience in the relevant field of biology, especially in biotechnology. So when the techniques and biotechnology is concerned, you have to know about the all of the domains of the biotechnology, you have to know about the superlative form, you have to know about the highest degree possible so that you can effectively contribute in the field of biosciences. So you need a constant exposure for that and if you are doing your masters in any IIT, you will get that constant exposure. So you will get to know about the cutting edge research environment, you are being in a cutting edge research environment, you are learning a lot from them, you are getting exposed to advanced technology that are being there in IITs because they have a, a very strong industrial collapse. So those advanced technology you are dealing with so it will help you in getting a job in especially a pharma pharmaceutical sector then you are getting talented seniors and colleagues so since they have also crossed national level examination they are also in a good note they are all they have also have a good rank or score in the gate examination or any other competitive examination in, in a national or international basis. So you are getting to know, you are getting to know about those seniors and colleagues and that, that will help you in gaining an experience that will help you in your career guidance for the awards. So it's important for you to have that constant exposure. Also you will be rep, you will be dealing with reputed core facilities such as the uh, famous mass spectro uh, spectrometry facility in IIT Bombay. So you will be dealing with many course facilities, reputed core facilities. So if you are working in proximity to them, you are learning a lot from those technical experts that will help you in your career progression. Also, you are having a better career approach. So ultimately, in all that constant exposure, you are developing a better career approach for yourself, which is necessary for your well-being, for your uh, hike in the relevant field of biology as well as biotechnology. So the next point is prevalent opportunities. So if you are doing your MTech from uh, in biotechnology from any IIT, you are getting exposed to the opportunities also. So if you are having those uh, prevalent uh, opportunities, they are helpful for you in getting a career progression in getting a suitable job for you. So you are getting leading experts in the subject domain that is in the field of biotechnology, you are dealing with those leading experts. So those experts are there to give you opportunity and guidance. Also, you are getting exposed to the highly qualified researchers in an Indian or international level. So if you are getting qualified, those high, if you are getting exposed, if you are getting uh, networking with those highly qualified researchers, you are surely learning a lot from them, be it on a national level or at international level. You are availing good laboratory facilities in your MTech that will help you in pursuing any of your career, especially in the pharmaceutical industry where your uh, technical knowledge is needed. Also, we are getting secured funding. So if you are doing, uh, let's say MS by research, if you are doing an MTech or you are, you are dealing with a project also, so you are having a secured funding because most of the labs will have a secured funding which will help you in, uh, in completing your uh, target work in the duration of time rather than getting it extended because of the funding loss or funding recessions. The next point is 
hands on learning so since you are in uh, india's uh, even world topmost like one of the topmost institution for doing your masters you are getting your hands on learning on many techniques that you need to understand for your job perspective so you are having well established labs and you are have a lot of scope of hands on experience hands on learning in those labs and that is helpful for you to gain an insights about the technical expertise if you want to go into uh, newer technology if you want to build your knowledge regarding newer technology if you want to build your knowledge regarding to the instruments that are being uh, availed that are being used in the uh, top of top notch companies top notch pharma companies india abroad even if you want to grab a, a pharma job opportunity in abroad also then also it's help helpful for you then the practical experience you are getting because the practical experience you are getting is important for your job perspective in the industrial sector or if you want to do a phd also after that your practical experience is important your research experience is important which you are getting through any of the iit if you are doing your mtech then high pay pay skill so if you are a btech student if you are going for any any industry based job if you are a masters in biotechnology if you are going for any industry based job your salary perspective would be little bit less it would be little less compared to the mtech students or an mtech a person who has completed their mtech degree because they have they will be having a little higher weightage regarding the technical domain so you will have an enhanced earning potential because you are an alumni of an iit and you are doing an mtech in biotechnology so in the field of biotechnology you are having a higher career prospect with a higher earning potential you are will be have, having a higher salary offer after graduation uh, also you can collapse with the industries and research institutions if you have any innovative idea or any idea of a patent or something in collab with the industry research and institution for selling those idea for um, you know uh, letting those uh, your research experience be encouraged Uh, in the field of biology by those industries and the research institutions in the field of biotechnology also ultimately you are getting a better job perspective because higher pay scale along with a higher research advantage a higher practical skill will always give benefit you with a better job perspective so it's important next one is prestigious degree since since you are doing your masters from any iit you are doing your masters mtech in biotechnology from any iit you are gaining a prestigious degree which is a competitive degree which most of the students can't get so iits are listed among the top universities the top institutions at world level by the qs world ranking also so you are getting you are earning a prestigious degree even if you are planning to go abroad your degree will be recognized so your recognition is all over the world plus you are having the value for the knowledge that you have gained because you have earned you have learned it through a lot of hard work practice as well as a lot of mind wrenching availability so you are having a value for the knowledge because you have been trained in such a way and also you will be always respected by the employers because you have got that degree you have got that achievement from one of the top institution all over the world now the next one the next thing is strong networking since uh, iits have a very good networking when it comes to the researcher professors scientists experts or even alumni so they have a very strong alumni network which will be very much helpful for you if you want to go if you want to go to abroad if you want to stay in india also also you have a strong connection with the working professionals so the working professional that has that are working in iit or outside iit or have been an alumni of iit you are having a strong connection with the working professional because they will always help you also they are networking with the world level scientists and educators in iit you are going for conferences talks and you are attending the conferences talks that are being organized in iit so you are being able to network with the world level scientists as well as the educators next one the next thing is that you are getting connections that are suitable for advancing your career so ultimately the idea for the networking should be that it should advance your career it should help your career it should give you a guidance it should help you from not committing those mistakes that anyone might do in the career progression so if you are getting those 
connections with suitable advancement of your ideas as well as innovation in the field of uh, biotechnology or the field where you want to do your career progression it will be helpful for you so the strong networking is always needed to reach at the place where you are doing the less mistakes and you are gaining the maximum experience as well as the deserved ideas and deserved experience so it's important for you to network and IIT will provide you a whole lot of platform to network, interact with the alumni, educators, researchers, as well as the international researchers who are coming and giving talk online as well as offline. Now, you will be participating in active contribution. So it is uh, like the trend for the IITs. If you are doing your master's in IIT, BA tech in IIT, you are always contributing. So you are learning a lot of extracurricular activity also rather than your research part. So basically they are freshening up your mind. It is making you a better person with a better perspective. So you are having an innovative mind. So the research and advancement in biotechnology, you're learning a lot, you're contributing a lot uh, in the research and advancement because you're having those innovative mind and you have that innovative mind which is helping you in building a strong perspective in the field of R&D. Also, you are contributing to the trending recent technology, you're learning a lot from the recent technology and you're contributing to the recent technology based on your ideas, innovations, uh, and also the ideas about the entrepreneurship as skill making. So also most of the people who do their MTech or especially who do their MBA, they opt for entrepreneurship, they opt for innovative setups and startups. So that is benefited because mostly after years we have seen in news as well as in the media that those start startups really come up well. So most of the startup they have started or most of the innovations or the entrepreneurship they have made, they, they have been always uh, proved to be helpful and beneficial uh, for the country for the uh, in the field of research as well as development so if you are having those active contribution having that innovative mind and getting that platform to apply your ideas and innovations in order to prove yourself in order to prove your innovations and experiments relevant for the um, science and technology relevant for the uh, research sector your active contribution and the platform you will get through the any of the iit so if you're having your active con you want an active contribution and a platform to start up with your active contribution iits will surely help you so if you're having an mtech and you want to go for a startup or entrepreneurship this active con uh, contribution a platform for your active contribution you will surely get by the iit from you have done your mtech so they always have the tendency to boost the students to always they always encourage the students to come up with the innovation ideas and always recruit them at the national or as an international platform the next thing knowledge related to biotechnology so you're not getting the uh, innovation in the field of your own you're not getting innovation uh, the innovative idea you're not getting a mindset of constant exposure networking as well as the relevant research experience you're also getting the core research experience in the field of biotechnology you're getting a core idea the core curriculum the technical uh, throughputs that are present in the field of biotechnology. So subject specific also you're learning a lot. You're learning specialized knowledge about biotechnology. The course curriculum has been designed in such a way you have been taught by the senior educators as a world class researchers. So it is helping you. You can become an educator also because since you have a lot more, you have learned a lot from the grooming. You have been groomed in such a way that you can become an educator and you can teach the students who are willing to pursue an MTech, BTech in any IIT. You can teach them. You can give a career advices to the students who want to do PhD or you want to do masters or they want to do BTEC in biotechnology you can give career advices about the perks of doing a bio, being a biotechnologist a perk of doing a biotechnology degree either for a BTEC or a master or for a relevant higher education degree also they can employ innovative strategies for competitive examinations this is very important because you're having those innovation in your mind which will help you in creating a better curriculum in future also for the competitive examination let's say gate also so you're building those strategies you're teaching the students to have those strategies in your mind so that they can easily score good in gate exam or any examination that is relevant for the biotechnology field. So these in innovative strategies, because you have been groomed in such a way, you have been employing those techniques, you have learned a lot that you can surely share it with the students, surely with the, with the aspirants who are willing to do a BTEC or MTech in biotechnology. This will ultimately lead to your skill enhancement as well as the skill enhancement of the 
people of the students of the aspirants whom you are guiding so basically you are creating a cross networking and you are helping in the co-evolvement you are asking them to evolve to grow and you are contributing in such a way to the society now challenging academic environment so you are having a challenging academic environment during your masters during your mtech in biotechnology in any iit so you had a challenging academic environment where you have been taught to give examination to study to perform extracurricular activities also to come up with an innovative idea to do lab training lab work internships so all, all, all of these things will come up with a conclusion that you are advancing your knowledge you are grooming your knowledge so this challenging academic environment will always help you in future if you will feel any work stress you will feel that you have you have been taught in such a way that you will feel that everything is so easy for you and you will be always having a positive mindset even if you go for a pharma sector even if you go abroad for higher education so that positive impact the positive mindset will come inside you from the challenging academic environment because you will feel everything is so easy so that will aid in the progression of your inquisitive mind that will have a better concept build up in your mind because you have always been you know uh, scratched in such a way that will always have a better concept build up in your mind you will be developing the ability to troubleshoot as well as you will be having the problem solving and the decision making ability better than the other students or the other people who have been in your same field so this much of hard work this much of uh, tickling this much of challenging academic environment is bettering you as a person is making you a better person making you a better scientist or a better uh, inquisitive mind you are making your mind uh, more innovative you are developing the ability to troubleshoot your problem solving as well as decision making ability will also improve so these are the perks if you are having a challenging environment and the last is impacts on society so since you are you are an alumni of IIT you are having a perk over the other person because you have been a recognition all over the world so you have providing an impact to the society because you can work in the biotechnology projects the project that has been allotted by the government of india psus you can merge with the psus for innovation you can contribute to the healthcare facilities based on the idea you can uh, ask them to that you have to, like you can ask them or you can help them in building better technology better kits better testing facilities also you can contribute to food security where you are if you are a student of a, like you have a student of food technology in your bachelor's in your did your i'm taken biotechnology you can contribute to food security as well as you can contribute to environmental sustainability ultimately these are not like subject specific or a topic is specific that you can only contribute to these things the idea is that you are having an impact upon the society so what you are learning you are contributing through this uh, like through that learning to the society so that is the advancement that is the perk that is the ultimate uh, decision i'm uh, in short you can say that that is the ultimate goal of your teaching so your goal should be providing a positive impact so the decision should be that you are having a positive impact on the society that is a conclusion that you can get so your degree should give a positive impact to the society that you will always get if you are having any of the uh, degree especially if you're having an mtech degree because it's higher it's a bit superlative you're having an mtech degree so these impact you can surely get you can get through those impacts very uh, surely uh, if you have so you can have those positive impact in your uh, to the society by yourself because you have been taught you have been brought and you have been succeeded in such a way so there will be always a perk of uh, getting your degree from a top notch institution because you are always serving your nation you are always serving the society so these were the benefits of doing an mtech from an iit if you feel that you have any doubt of if you feel any clarification or if you feel that there are certain loopholes or any other benefit that i have not mentioned kindly please mention it in the comment box below i hope you have liked this video thank you for so much for watching